Welcome to today's video. My mom and dad came into town and we are going to do such a fun video for you. We are trying the Harvest Right freeze dryer. For the first time, we love preserving food. We have a passion for feeding our kids. <laughs> and so mom is gonna share with you a few different ways that you can preserve food. Well, we've spent a lot of years bottling our food and that has been wonderful. It'll last two to four years and we, this is with a water bath canner. This is with a pressure cooker. You can use your deep freeze. That, that those only, whatever you put in the deep freeze is only gonna last about six months. A year, maybe. But freeze drying is a whole new ball game for us. This will last 25 to 30 years and it will hold the same nutritional value. So we're gonna walk you through the process from start to finish right now. This is the Harvest Right freeze dryer. This is the medium size and I decided to go with an oil-free pump. I have been on YouTube for hours watching people freeze dry and it has made me so excited. So mom and I are going to move this into the garage because it is kind of loud. And so we'll move that in there and then we will show you what we're gonna fill it up with. One, two, three. You got it? I got it. It's not bad. I think I got the heavy end. <laughs> there you go. Jackson still has his rock machine going. So it's gonna be loud in here. We've got a rock tumbler going and then we'll get a freeze dryer going. And then don't mind our moving boxes. I am really glad that you take this serious, Ellie, because it's like insurance. And it's just as important to have your food on your shelves as it is to have insurance on your house. Yep, Mom was talking about how people have life insurance, fire insurance. insurance. You have all kinds of insurances, but the really, you need to have insurance on your food. You need to have a supply of food on hand for whatever reason. Chad and I lived on our food storage for almost a year when he was out of work. And the only thing we ran out of is chocolate chips. Okay, so we don't even need to do this. We just need to go buy tons of chocolate chips. Especially with food prices going up, it is going to be nice to preserve our food right now and then we can use it right away or we can save it and use it later. So today we are freeze drying lemons, cheese, bell peppers, and eggs. You can do cooked eggs, but from what I've seen, people really like to do raw eggs better. So let's try this right now. We're gonna go put this in the freeze dryer. So you know what you're doing, like you've you followed the manual instructions and watch videos and stuff. Yeah, you just push start. Okay. You can double check that in a minute. <laughs> but um, a tip that you can do that we should have done is you can put all of this in the freezer before you put them in the freeze dryer to cut down time. So, you know, eggs are so liquidy, soup is liquidy, milk is liquidy. You can freeze that before you put it in here to shorten down your time. So everything's in here. We're just gonna push start, and it is a oil-free pump. Save. Close. We close the drain valve, and now it's gonna start freezing, and this is our timer, and it will be about 24 hours, and it will stop when it's done. Super easy, not like bottling or canning, huh, mom? Where we're trying to figure out the um, pressure. <laughs> we're dancing already. <laughs> the freeze portion of this is over with and now it is drying. So we're gonna leave this overnight and we will see how this turns out tomorrow. You can already see like look at the eggs starting to um, freeze and form. Everything's looking very dry. This is gonna be exciting. So see you in the morning. The next morning. It is the next morning and as you can see, it has been drying for 14 hours and the total freezing and drying 
has been 20 hours. Once it is done drying, it'll give us an extra two hours of drying time or until it is done. The process is now complete and we are going to open it up for the first time and check it. So are the I thought it would be cold, cold, but they're warm. No, they're okay. warm. Cool. Hey, do we take Should them we take, out? Yep. These are beautiful. And they're pretty. Oh, and it's like Oh, it's stuck. stuck. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I can, I can break it. Mm -hmm. Oh, crazy. So everything is dry. I didn't want all of the moisture sucked out, which is great. Are you gonna, oh, that's. Mm -hmm. It's lemon. It's lemon. Okay. It is oh. so strong. And that's kind of just like dried cheese. The cheese looks the same, yeah. but it just feels dry. Yeah. Let's take it, mom, and break it. Yeah, it breaks, whereas cheese, yeah, it just breaks apart. That's cool. What I think is cool about the egg is look how it crackles all through there. Yep. Look, watch. It has shrunken. Yeah. Oh my heck, it And falls it turns apart. into like powder from what... Well, yeah, look. <laughs> so let's take this and we'll kind of break it up. But yeah, as soon as you pick okay, up so like if a I chunk, put that in, in water, I've got to... Yep, and we'll show you exactly what that looks like in a second. But just so you can see, it just breaks apart. Does it taste okay? I don't want to taste it. It's raw. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to cook that! <laughs> okay. Next is the bell pepper. This is pretty cool. It looks it's, dry as can be. It, it does. It feels... Like that styrofoam that Can comes I in packaging. This, yes, mom, please eat it. That is cool. This is crazy. Dad just said he was reading up on the instructions. He says that the flavor intensifies is, when you freeze dry. It's kind of sweet. That it the flavor mm -hmm. intensified. Okay, so this is just as dry as can be. You can hear the snap. So now what mom and I need to do is we are going to get a glass of water, put our lemon in there, and we are gonna make an omelet. Okay, we're gonna put the lemon in the water. You ready, Ellie? Yep. Well, it's getting a little more malleable, but it's not there yet. Oh, Taste wait, the water wait. and tell yeah. me if it tastes like lemon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It is, isn't There's it? lemon water. That's so fun. We're mom. We can share drinks, right? <laughs> I love That's that. Good. So what I thought would be so cute is to have tons of jars full of lemons. First, that would look cute. And the kids in the summer are always coming in and out. If you have a pool party, if you just want lemon in your water, mm. you just can grab a lemon out of your jar. Well, even the dust that it yeah. creates. Yeah, it's, it's good in your drink. Do all that yeah. little dust. Yeah, we'll scrape that off and mm -hmm. save all of that. This is my favorite part, and this was one of the main reasons I was so excited to get a freeze dryer. Freeze drying eggs. So we're gonna make some scrambled eggs with mom, but to reconstitute it, you need to make one egg, one tablespoon of the egg that I'm gonna put right here in this white bowl. And then to reconstitute it, you need about two to three tablespoons of water. Okay, so we have one tablespoon of egg, and this is two tablespoons of water that is going in to the egg mixture. We're gonna break this up, stir it around. Look at what we have so far. This is an egg. So mom and I are gonna sit here and get some more egg and water going, and then we are gonna make some scrambled eggs. As you can see that liquid in there, we've got eggs that are gonna go. And we're gonna try it out this way first, where we're just gonna put the bell peppers 
Once the eggs start to scramble, we're just gonna put the bell peppers and cheese in it and hope that that rehydrates everything. Like look, it's already cooking up just like a little egg. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so fun. Look at that. It's like you can see the yolk in there. It's just so great. That's an egg. Honestly, I'm just gonna put the bell peppers in now because it takes a minute to, for things to rehydrate, it seems like. Yep, salt and pepper that. Where'd you get those cute salt and pepper? I know, aren't those cute? So I'm just gonna put some cheese on it now. I mean, you can smell the flavor. <laughs> it's like, that was crunchy. <laughs> that, yeah, that cheese flew. Yeah, it's gonna take just a minute for the cheese to soften up in yep. there. You hold the plate. So before we dive into eating um, our scrambled egg, this is the dry lemon. And we've had this lemon sitting in here for a few minutes now. And the rind is you know, now soft and malleable. And it, it's just, I think that's just gonna be so fun to have. So we have our water. Okay. Ready? Yep. You go first? We'll go together. Okay. So the bell peppers, they look a little dry, but they're soft. Mom went first. <laughs> the thing I would do different is I would probably let the bell peppers soak in water a little bit. Yeah? I think so too. Because I, I they're a little, just a little not fully hydrated yet. I thought it would have been fun just to throw it all and make it work, but the bell peppers are soft and squishy, but they're a little rubbery. So yeah, next time I'll rehydrate those. And that'll take care of it. Yep. But the eggs and cheese, the cheese is melted. The eggs taste fresh. Mm-hmm. It tastes just like an egg. Yeah. But the cool thing about this is this egg can last 25 years. And how you can store it is, I think it's gonna be cute. I'm just gonna put them in ball jars. And then you can put some oxygen. You put one oxygen absorber in it, and then you can either just close it up, or you can, if you really wanna be fancy, you can get an attachment to like a food sealer and just like seal it up. Or you, if, especially if you're gonna do it for like 25 years and have it be like a long-term food storage, you can put it in a Mylar bag and then seal it along with an oxygen absorber. But we are gonna go literally ham on this. We are going to- Literally ham, we're gonna ham. We're gonna do rows of chicken. We're gonna do rows of ham, um, avocado, tomatoes. I wanna buy up all the rotisserie chicken in the store and bring it home and freeze dry it. Yep. This is so fun and just reliable to have food on hand for when you need it, when you don't have it. If crap hits the fan, for whatever reason, you will have food in your pantry for your family. This was so fun to do. You are so cute. If you guys have any questions, um, I'm learning. <laughs> if you are too, we're learning together. If you have any questions, you can check out the link below uh, for Harvest Right. That's where we got our freeze dryer from. Stay tuned for a lot more videos. We're gonna be moving soon. We're gonna get our garden in and we're going to be freeze drying food all year long. And we can't wait to show you everything that we do. Don't forget to check out Grandma and Grandpa Griff's YouTube channel. I'll have that link down below as well. She does so many fun cooking videos, bread, rolls, <laughs> and we're both going to get into <laughs> freeze drying together. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.